Thank you for tuning in to watch Sixto. My name's Sixto. Today is a review on a vintage Omega Speedmaster um, from the, the 90s. This one's towards 99. So, for a 25-year-old, give or take, I'm estimating it be like in the nine, like the the end of the nineties, but they make so many of this. This is a uh, reference three five two zero dot five zero. This is lent in by Timekeeper's uh, watch. This is one of the many watches that he has picked up during his uh, his outing. Uh, getting watches so saw this I was like yes haven't reviewed one with a triple date per se so I'll give you for to get my special pointer or adjuster you're gonna need one of these if you have it or a toothpick the equivalent because this is a chronograph and as you can see, it has this has sapphire crystal um, inside and outside, which not always the best part because there's a smudge a little bit off the twelve o'clock position where it looks like it was rubbed off, but neither here nor there. Obviously, it's a uh, automatic on its original bracelet stainless steel what I like about this guy how it has it's almost their, their equivalent version of a glide lock but doesn't stick in position that's pretty cool how they have it all I think it's I almost want to say it is fully equipped with all its bracelets so even for its age it does hold itself pretty well not much of a droop so if you want to do that you gotta you put two fingers on top one there and you can see the bracelet which this ain't the best view for it um, I'll try to do a different one where you can see it hopefully it shows Sapphire crystal, you got your date, your outer ring, you got your date, and the center, let's see, at the 12 o'clock you have your day date, your month, then I think your sub dial at the 9 o'clock, your running seconds, and it looks like your 24 hour, so let's start it off and so we can see the beautiful, hold on. Off the manual winds, so you pull the you push the top crown, and you see the baby go. While that's going, I'll give you the dimensions from the lug width. Should have measured. You know what? Let me do a different measurement because since these are metal end links, this is the part where I forgot to measure. I measured the lugs to lugs, which match what the description is. So it's a fifty point four. Everything else will be as measured. Metal end links 50.4. Otherwise, from lug to lug, it's a 45, which kind of has a small, uh, small dip to the case. Brush and polish. Nice little detail on the edge work of the lugs. 18 mil lug width. I measured it in two different locations. Um, from the nine or sorry from the eight and the two I got it at 39 on the dot then with the crown the nine into the outer of the crown I had it at a 41.5 so 42 the thickness because you got a nice little dome let's see if I can get it to focus you see the nice little dome stainless steel case back I have it at 
14 on the dot. 13.9, so round up to 14. And you got this beautiful artwork in the back. And you got your little Speedmaster. Honestly, it's a cool watch for its for its age. It's on the it's pretty much based off of uh, the Valjoux 7751. Cuz you got your your day and date. So, if you want to change that, you got to have this guy and you got to poke here. And it goes to Monday. So, then let's see what the the movement looks like. So you got your minute up up here, and then you got your the equivalent hours at the bottom. So you got your minute hand or your your minute timer at the twelve o'clock. Your your uh, hours at the bottom because I think there's twelve the bottom so yeah now we see the the watch let's see oh snap back so you pull the crown out one position and no now I change the time Really? Now you wanna be a little stubborn? There it is. That was working fine. Alright, so you see thirty, then it goes to July. And you set it up to wherever you want. You can go backwards, so that's a good thing. So we're in August. September and so on and so forth so that events that does not screw down it's a um, 30 atmosphere of water resistant not a whole lot because obviously this is not a diver watch which is fine with me because all I do is get my hands wet by wrenching or by washing my hands or get caught in the rain so nothing too crazy I still got to figure, I haven't figured it out if they call this the Mark 40, but this is honestly one of my mini grail uh, watches that I would love to own. One day, this one might be it. Oh, that's right, I forgot to mention. Uh, the movement, this, the movement that they uh, put in here or they revised it to their cal uh, calibration it is a 1151 caliber uh, which is 44 hours of power reserve 25 joules roughly about plus or minus 20 seconds per day depends on how well it's been serviced and how well the movement has been taken care of over the years and on my wrist I just uh, purchased this little gem, so it's a new addition to my collection. Got my Seiko Bruce Lee. Love this watch already. Uh, so I don't size this watch. This watch is not sized to my wrist because not mine. If it was, it'll be a different story. So here it is, seven three quarters. You see, put two fingers in there. So if you have about almost an eight inch wrist, this would fit. The pretty much the same size as the Speedy Reduce. If you have seen that video, which I have it in my my catalog of videos I've done, I did the Speedy Reduce. The same size differences, the the movement, 
is um, is offset because they have to adjust for the the position. So the crown is pretty much flushed on this one, and the speedy has the pushers above it, not too far up, but it's a little detail that you have to see. So let me know what you guys think about Speedy or any Omega to be precise. Are they on your radar? Let me know in the comments below. Until the next one, you guys have a great day. Bye.